we are given f of x and g of x and asked to find f plus g of x and f plus g of four. For number one, f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. And f of x is equal to three x squared minus five x plus two and g of x is equal to x squared minus four x minus five. Notice how I did include parentheses around both f of x and g of x. This becomes even more important for function subtraction. To add two quadratic functions, we combine like terms. Let's take the extra step in clearing the parentheses. Because we have addition, we could just drop the parentheses, or if it's helpful, we can also think of distributing a positive one here, and because of the addition, distributing a positive one here as well. But of course, distributing a positive one doesn't change anything. This gives us three x squared minus five x plus two plus x squared minus four x minus five. And now we combine like terms. We have two x squared terms. We have two x terms. And we have two constants. If it's helpful, we can include the coefficient of one on the x squared term here. Combining like terms, three x squared plus one x squared is four x squared. Negative five x minus four x is negative nine x, giving us minus nine x. And two minus five equals negative three, giving us minus three. Now we know f plus g of x equals four x squared minus nine x minus three. And now we need to find f plus g of four. We will do this two ways. First, because we already found f plus g of x, to find f plus g of four, we can simply substitute four for x into f plus g of x. So for the first method, f plus g of four is equal to substituting four for x into f plus g of x gives us four times four squared minus nine times four minus three. Simplifying four squared equals 16, giving us four times 16 minus nine times four minus three. Now multiplying, four times 16 is 64, minus nine times four is 36 minus three. 64 minus 36 equals 28, 28 minus three equals 25. So now we know f plus g of four equals 25. But let's also find f plus g of four a second way using the definition of f plus g of x. If we didn't already have f plus g of x, we could find f plus g of four by determining f of four plus g of four. Let's do this on the next slide. So f plus g of four is equal to f of four plus g of four. Let's determine the sum of these two function values to verify we also get 25. For f of four, we substitute four for x into f of x, which gives us three times four squared minus five times four plus two plus, to determine g of four, we substitute four for x in g, which gives us four squared minus four times four minus five. And now we simplify inside the parentheses here and here, then determine the sum. Simplifying the exponents first, four squared is equal to 16, giving us three times 16 minus five times four plus two, plus the quantity, again, four squared is 16, giving us 16 minus four times four minus five. And now we multiply inside the parentheses here and here. Three times 16 is 48, minus five times four is 20, plus two, plus the quantity, four times four is 16 here, giving us 16 minus 16 minus five. And now we add and subtract inside the parentheses. 48 minus 20 is 28, plus two is 30. We have 30 plus 16 minus 16 is zero. Zero minus five is negative five. And 30 plus negative five is 25, giving us the same result as we had on the previous slide. So there are two ways we can determine f plus g of four. I hope you found this helpful.